Now, it's so easy to find a coffee shop on just about every street corner in Seoul, and business continues to boom. One chain in particular is taking up more corners than the rest. The pro problem is the price of a coffee in a Starbucks in the Korean capital is double what you'd pay in New York City. But as our Connie Kim reports, Koreans are more than willing to pay the extra price. If you need evidence to support the notion that Korea is crazy for coffee, you only need to look around the streets of Seoul, where a coffee shop can be found on just about every corner. But none have quite the presence that Starbucks has. There are 284 Starbucks coffee shops located in Seoul. Now that's more than you'll find in New York City, Shanghai, London or Seattle, where the company was founded. Koreans are also paying more for a cup of joe at the chain. Four dollars and eighty-five cents. That's how much Starbucks Korea charges their customers for an average cup of coffee. That's nearly twice as much as customers in the United States pay. For an Americano, the data shows that Korea ranks sixth on the list behind countries like Poland and Greece. Despite the steep prices, Starbucks customers here in Korea say they're happy to pay. Starbucks has been in Korea for ages, so I trust them. There are a lot of Starbucks, so they are easy to find. I'd like to know why the prices keep going up, but I'll continue going. It appears that Koreans, generally speaking, are willing to shell out a little extra for a cup of coffee, no matter where it comes from. Starbucks prices are right on average with the prices found at domestic coffee chains. Connie Kim, Arirang News.